Hey guys, I am going to go over graphing really quick just as a review so that you can get a little help on your quiz that you're going to be taking pretty soon. Um, so let's start with a speed graph. Um, here we've got distance on the y axis, so please notice that. So I'm going to highlight right here. We've got distance on the y axis, so Notice that, please. Um, and then, of course, we have time on the x-axis. So I've got two lines here. Because the lines are straight, in other words, they're not curved, they are showing constant speed. So in other words, for the whole trip, I'm going that same speed throughout the entire trip. I am not slowing down or speeding up. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, which is going to be an acceleration basically. But anyway, uh, the green line is going faster. Whatever object that is, let's pretend it's a car or somebody walking or something like that. Um, that person is going faster than the red line. And the reason that I know that is because it's steeper than the red line. So whenever I have a steeper line, that means it's faster. And if it's more gently sloped, that means that that person is going slower. So let's talk about acceleration, which could be slowing down or speeding up. So I'm going to first talk about speeding up. So I'm going to draw a blue line here. I'm going to start out slow and then I'm going to get faster, faster, faster. So here you could see that there is a definite curve in my line. Um, it is not straight. So what's happening here is I started out slow and I got faster and faster and faster. So that's my acceleration line. It's getting faster. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to do it in orange. And this is going to be um, also an acceleration line, but you could call this negative acceleration or getting slower. So here I start out fast and then I get slower, slower, slower until eventually, sorry, my line got a little messed up right there. Eventually I will get become horizontal okay so this is good could be called a negative acceleration line some people say deceleration um, but here I start out fast notice how it's really steep at the beginning and then it becomes more and more gently sloped which means that I uh, I'm going to slow down until eventually I stop okay I'm going to add another line we're going to make this one purple I'm going to do it at the top because it's so it's nice and out of the way and I'm going to try to draw and sort of fail at drawing a completely horizontal line. Sorry, my hand is not very steady. But what I want to show you here is that this is a line that is at rest. As time is passing here, okay, time is passing, the line is not changing. It's staying at 70 kilometers. Um, so here, I am not moving at all. I'm staying 70 kilometers away from wherever I started and time is passing and I'm still at 70, still at 70, still at 70. So I did not move at all. Okay, let's look at the next type of graph. So you'll notice that I have velocity, which is basically speed here. Okay, on my y axis. And what I mean by it's basically speed here is uh, velocity is just speed the distance uh, sorry the direction of speed um so it's basically the same for our purposes right now we're it's the same thing um so i've got speed on my y-axis and i've got time on my x-axis just like before right time is, is going to be on the x-axis so what is happening here here um you have to again think of it like a story right what is speed doing over this certain amount of time so let's talk about the very beginning right here okay that i am highlighting in yellow my speed is zero what does that mean if my speed is zero well that means that i am not moving okay and then let's highlight it in a different color i am increasing my speed right here where my line is green as i as time is passing my speed is getting greater and greater and greater so i'm going faster and faster and faster um so i'm increasing my speed and then I'm horizontal again. But notice how, actually I should make that in a different color. This blue line right here, my horizontal line is now at eight meters per second. So I am, I'm at a constant speed now. 
I am maintaining eight meters per second of speed. So I'm still moving. It's not like in the other graph, right? I am moving here, but I'm staying at the same speed. So over here, maybe my uh, speed was one meter per second and then two meters per second and three meters per second or whatever. I was increasing my speed here on the green line. And then at the blue line, I kept my speed at eight meters per second. And then as I come down here, on my orange line, I'm gonna color this one orange, my speed is going to decrease right here. It's gonna get lower and lower. Notice how it's going eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's getting lower and lower until I get to 10 seconds and my speed has again become zero and I slowed down enough to where I'm stopped. And then if I want to continue this line, I'll do another yellow. And I'm, if I'm at zero again, that means I've stopped and time is passing, but I'm not moving at all. Okay, so if you have any questions, please come by and ask me and I will explain it to you all over again or watch the video again or look at your notes so that you can do good on this quiz that's coming up. Okay, thanks for watching.